Bam, 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 bam. Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Artistic Edition. We're gonna be combining some famous artists here and seeing what Mid Journey comes up with. I'm still on a three by two binge, hope you don't mind. This first combo comes from my boy Afterburner on Discord, thanks a lot. And these two artists are honestly just insane and they work so well together. The first is Lottie Reiniger, I hope I pronounced that correctly, and Peter Max. I didn't use the same prompt for every artist, but they're kind of similar. Kind of. The same general theme, I suppose. The first prompt we're gonna look at is the moon of the galaxy. Here's artwork by Peter Max. Look at this color palette. What a genius Peter Max is. I like not knowing a lot about artists. Ignorance is bliss, as they say. What do you think? Quite abstract, right? The moon of the galaxy. So we get these circle shapes, kind of planet-like, and then of course some stars in the distance. Which one's your favorite? I think I really like number three, but also number four, probably because of this spaceship down here. Same prompt by Lottie Reiniger, and look at their style. Whoa, wow. Does this style have a name? Sort of looks like you cut out white paper and placed it on a black background. Just stunning. Look at the story it tells in each frame. What is it going to look like when we combine them together? This is an important point to note. Does the order of the artist matter in your prompt? At first glance, I would say yes, it does. And I'll prove that in a second. However, after some further testing, it's not quite clear. It could definitely just be confirmation bias. And seeing as there are thousands and thousands and thousands of seeds, there's really no way to know for sure unless you tested thousands and thousands and thousands of seeds. That being said, I'd love to get your opinion. So this first test is going to be Lottie first and then Peter Max. Boom, beautiful. Now my opinion on it is that the first artist you name is going to be the foundation for the picture and the second artist you name is going to add the accents. So again, in my opinion, the first artist Lottie brings in her composition where it looks like a cutout of paper on a background and then it adds Peter Max's color to the image, where it's not just black and white anymore, it's got some extra flair to it. These are pretty beautiful, right? But now let's take a look at the prompt when Peter Max is first. What do you think? What do you see here? In my opinion, Peter Max is the foundation of the generation, with his colors being at the forefront, and then Lottie's style kind of gets added on after. Do you see that as well? Again, I'm not saying that's how it works for sure, but at first glance, it seems to feel that way. And before we move on, I actually loved Peter Max's original images so much that I image prompted them with my favorite sports car to see what it would come up with. Take a look at these. Oh my. Ah, oh, so good. And then I used this one and we made these. Pretty amazing, right? I mean, you know, look how good they are. I love how the car is facing the camera in number one. I love the tires on number four. And oof, honestly, everything about number three is pretty amazing. Number two is not bad either. Okay, these next two artists come from Catherine Noggle. Thanks a lot for the suggestion you left in my YouTube comments. We're going to be looking at Remedios Varo and Audrey Kawasaki. I apologize for any pronunciation problems. And the prompt we're going to try is the Galactic Servant. Here's artwork by Remedios. Boom. What do you think? I really don't know how I would describe this. His style is certainly unique. I love the gold that comes out with it though. The gold and the blue, especially in number three and number four. Quite striking, as well as just the designs of the figure and like the hats. Oof, these are pretty powerful images. Would love to have these as a painting. Now let's look at the prompts by Audrey Kawasaki. Much more muted colors, definitely a different composition with the zoomed in on the face, but gotta love the accents, especially all the little stars that show up. Now we're gonna combine them, but we're gonna switch up the order and see what it comes up with. So here's Remedios first, and I would say his color palette certainly is at the forefront along with his take and composition on what a servant would look like. Like very reminiscent of his style. And then maybe the accents come from Audrey. I mean, that's at least how I interpret these images. I really like their expressions in number one. And then here's Audrey first. Now you see what I mean, right? About the foundation, like you put Audrey first and then it seems as though it adds 
her style first. I mean, it's got these kind of zoomed in pictures of a face at least, and then perhaps the color palette from Remedios on top. What do you think? What do you see here? Am I wrong? I mean, I know I'm not right. I can't confirm my theory, but it's certainly my first impression. These are pretty beautiful, right? Like, look at number one. That's just, that's amazing. And actually, I re-rolled this prompt with Audrey first three times to see if you could get any variations on it. And this is where I'm starting to believe that it's random. Here's the first one. I wouldn't necessarily have called this Audrey first, right? Like, what do you see here? Here's the second one. Again, I wouldn't have said this was Audrey first. I mean, number one certainly looks that way, but number four kind of looks like Remedios first. And then here's Audrey first again. I would have to say this makes me feel like my theory is correct, but it's up in the air. I don't really know. Great pictures though, right? Okay, these next two artists weren't suggested at the same time, so my apologies if you were the one to share them. We're gonna be looking at Enki Bilal and MC Escher. And their prompt is the time turner. Here's artwork by Enki. <laughs> Look at these. Does that give you goosebumps? These are so beautiful. I think the only way to describe this is with watercolor. I mean, I'm pretty sure that's the basis of the images, but there's obviously some line work involved as well. I just, oof, I can't get enough of these. So great. And then here's the time turner by MC Escher. I was expecting kind of like a, a pencil drawing, but maybe I just don't know enough about Escher. This is what MJ came up with, which is certainly the bending of reality, which we all know and love about Escher. I mean, the closer you look, the more they confuse you. I don't know how MJ is so good at recreating that though. So here's the prompt with Enki first, and I think it's pretty clear, at least again, in my opinion, that the watercolor comes first that Enki is the foundation and that MJ adds MC Escher's nonsense as the accent. Number two is pretty great. Number four, awesome. Three, powerful as well. And number one is pretty. And then here's the time turner, MC Escher first. Now, would you agree with me that the bending of reality comes first and then maybe a hint of watercolor on top? I mean, it's certainly not all MC Escher and it's certainly not all Enki. Pretty crazy picks though, right? And these last two artists come from Afterburner again. We're going to be looking at Roberto Mata and John Ken Mortensen. This prompt is, the galaxy is running out of time. Here's artwork by Roberto Mata. Look at this guy draw. What even are these? This is version three. No, this just must be his style. And I guess it's pretty spectacular. Regardless of the details, I love the color. That green and black of the void. These are stunning. Abstract in all the best ways. Here's the same prompt by John Ken Mortensen. What do you think of these? Quite different. I'd say decent saturated almost no color at all except for that beige tint and honestly i don't really know what these are supposed to be i like the addition of the stars in the background but these are certainly surreal what do you think it's gonna look like when they're combined all right the galaxy is running out of time here's roberto mata first now i think you can see the colors of roberto with the composition and design of john it's it's like the best of both worlds in terms of nonsense right so what do you think it's gonna look like when john gets mentioned first. I'd say these are much more reminiscent of John Ken Mortensen, but I'm going to show you why I'm not completely convinced on my theory. Because here's the same prompt with John Ken Mortensen first, and there's a lot of green coming out of it from Roberto Mata. Like, I don't know. What do you think about this? Do you think it matters what order you put the artists in? Or if you just re-rolled the prompt, you would eventually get the best of both worlds. Considering I usually only run the prompts once and there are hundreds of thousands, millions of seeds, I don't think there's any conclusion that is proper to make. Well, there was some artistic addition for you. If you have any suggestions of artists that I could use in the future, please leave them in the comments below. I hope you're doing well. Take care and I'll see you next time. Peace.